what is up Kilo crew and welcome to today's video. Today Randy and I are on a quick day trip to the city of Larbert, Scotland where we are heading to a place called the Plow Hotel to take on their full Scottish breakfast challenge. Now we know that the man, the myth, the bearded Good legend morning, himself, welcome. Beard Meets Food has taken on this challenge. Uh, I don't know about welcome. I plan on enjoying me a full Scottish breakfast. It's like one of my favorite things to eat ever. But anyways, we will catch you guys at the Plow Hotel when the massive full Scottish breakfast challenge arrives. Kilo crew. So the massive breakfast challenge has arrived here in front of me at the Plow Hotel and boy am I excited. A little bit nervous though because there is a very, very interesting time limit here. I have only 27 minutes to finish everything that you see in front of me. There are like three sausages, three eggs, a whole bunch of scrambled eggs. I believe there are two haggis slices, two mega black pudding slices, some uh, French toast, regular toast, there's bacon, tatty scones, and then a couple of roast tomatoes and then tins of beans. I believe that is everything. If not, of course, I got you guys in the voiceover. But anyways, 27 minutes to finish everything you see in front of me. If I am successful, I do get the $17.95 meal for free and a spot up on the wall of fame. I am only planning on uh, kind of taking my time on this guy just because it looks delicious and I was already put to shame. Uh, no spoiler alerts on one other challenge I tried to keep up with old Adam Beard Meats food on. So don't plan on having that happen again today. Just gonna enjoy myself a full Scottish breakfast it is one of my favorite meals here. But anyways, as per usual, there's a lot of people here. There ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's pull our hair back and get this challenge started. It is time to eat us some breakfast. I am very hangry. I haven't eaten anything since the at pizza challenge uh, last night. So best meal of the day. One, two, three. Let's eat us some Scottish breakfast. Woo! Start with a tomato. Doofy. That's actually one of the nicer ones. Ooh, look at me changing things up and enjoying a fried tomato for once. Big fam. That was actually a very good tomato. Tomato. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I still keep changing up how I want to say it. Ooh. It's good sausage. There's just something about sausages in the UK that are so much better than American ones. It's like they're just cooked with love. Oh, very hot. Mm-hmm. Strategy change. We're going for a uh, fried egg Sammy right here. As much as I wanted to enjoy myself, I had to deal with that kind of finicky time limit here, which was the 27 minutes. And that time limit is based on, I guess, if somebody wins the challenge, then the time limit goes down, while if somebody loses, it goes up by a minute. There's just extra love put into a Scottish breakfast. But there's always room for Heinz ketchup. Ain't that the truth? And I'm still not on board with brown sauce quite yet. I've been trying it, a little bit of the HP, but still not quite as good as Heinz. Next up, the final fried egg on one of the tatty scones. Best word ever. Makes me feel like I know how to like have a good Scottish accent, even though I really don't. All right, we're going for a tatty scone bacon sandwich. Here we go. Oh, yeah, promo. And tatty scones are one of my favorite things ever. And I've actually tried experimenting with adding Nutella to them, and that is elevated. Start some of these scrambled eggs here. Mmm, it's a lot of huevos. Now, I don't believe scrambled eggs are part of a traditional Scottish breakfast, but I didn't mind them. They were fluffy and delicious. Oh, it's warm in here. I need to come to Scotland and do food challenges in the winter. Huh. These comfort food style meals are definitely more suited for the winter months. That was so good though. All right, let's get into some of these Lorne sausages. I do really enjoy those. They are quite nice. Lorne sausages or square sausages are part of a traditional Scottish breakfast and I really enjoy them. It's kind of like a chewier burger patty, but really well seasoned. All right, that was some delicious Lorne sausage as well. Now let's move on to the haggis, which this is the first time my haggis has come in the perfectly formed slices. I've been getting it as piles recently. So this looks rather more appetizing. 
Oh, it's so good. It doesn't even need ketchup. I'm just going to forget about that. It was rather nice to get some properly cooked haggis for once in a while. Nice and firm. I'm going to miss this about Scotland. I'm not complaining about it at all, but let's just say the Weatherspoon haggis that we've been treating ourselves to in the morning is nothing compared to like a traditional grandma's haggis that you'd get in a cafe or maybe even a pub. I'm sad the haggis is gone, but luckily I have the uh, favorite brother of haggis, black pudding. Absolutely delicious. Americans really need to catch on to black pudding and haggis. Mm, thank you. <laughs> Have any girls won? Nope, you're the first video. I like it. Uh, this one's for the ladies. I am nothing if not a female role model for elegance and propriety at the breakfast table, but it was cool to have so much enthusiasm from the wait staff and crowd. That is it for the meats. Let's uh, clear out all of the potatoes and tatties now with the hash browns, etc. And then we'll dig into uh, some mushrooms, which are actually one of my favorite parts of a breakfast. And this is actually where we moved on to some of those forgotten components from the intro. I don't believe I mentioned the mushrooms or the hash browns, which is a crying shame. Time for some of these shrooms. Like any good human of short stature, I have a hobbit level love for mushrooms. So yummy. Next up is the French toast, which I have heard here is typically served savory and salted. So, uh, oh, stop it. Randy's talking trash in the background. So I'm going to enjoy some savory French toast. I actually don't remember what he said in the background, so I'll leave it up to you guys to guess. It kind of does taste like scrambled eggs. I dig it. Not entirely sure why I took a time machine back to the 80s to say that I dig it, but uh, I actually prefer my French toast on the sweet side, but savory was all right for the, uh, for the occasion. Uh, uh, thank you! Oh, I did a good burp. Here it comes. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. Some uh, much needed hype up from the youngsters in the crowd who knew that I was not looking forward to taking on those two pots of beans in front of me. <laughs> they knew I was dreading it. Final bite of French toast, and then it's on to my favorite the beans. Oh boy, enough complaining. Just get through the beans. Ooh, shovel mode. Give me strength. Ah, that's enough talking from me. Enjoy the rest of the video. I will, of course, catch you all in the next one. One tin down, one to go. Ugh. Oh, thank you. There's like two people going, yay. <laughs> and final bin. Cheers for Do It in Under 20. I managed to do it in 19 minutes and 59 seconds, which is just in the nick of time. So, whoo, a big thank you to the Plow Hotel. That was absolutely delicious. Gary absolutely smoked it in the kitchen. So that was delicious and wonderful. But thankfully for winning, I do get the 1795 meal for free in a spot up on the wall of fame next to the legend himself, the bearded wonder, Mr. Beard Meets Food. But yeah, either way, 1795 is a heck of a deal for that much food. And that was all really delicious. And like I said, haggis is so amazing. Amazing. So try you some. It's not as gross as it sounds on paper. Anyways, <laughs> well, yeah, I'm not a lady. I don't do that. No, do that. But yeah, thankfully there was a lot of people here cheering me on. Couldn't have done it without them. So big thank you to everyone who showed up here to the Plow Hotel. Really love the crowd support and a big thank you to, of course, the staff here for accommodating everyone here while they cheer on Randy and I. So thank you, Plow. As usual, like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will of course catch you guys in the next school-ish video. Okay, peace out, bye! Woo! I have been conned into eating a slice of Jaffa cake and a slice of carrot cake. I did not want to do this at all. You can tell by the bite that's already missing from the Jaffa cake, and it is delicious. So, whoever made this in the back, I'm so sorry to my waistline, but... When in Scotland, that's so good. Okay, for real. Peace out, bye.